Article 10, Local Government General Provisions Section 1. The territorial and political subdivisions, of the Republic of the Philippines, are the provinces, cities, municipalities, and barangays. There shall be autonomous regions in Muslim Mindanao, and the Cordilleras, as here and after provided. Section 2. The territorial and political subdivisions, shall enjoy local autonomy. Section 3. The Congress, shall enact a local government code, which shall provide for a more responsive, and accountable local government structure, instituted through a system of decentralization, with effective mechanisms of recall, initiative, and referendum, allocate among the different local government units, their powers, responsibilities, and resources, and provide for the qualifications, election, appointment and removal, term, salaries, powers and functions, and duties of local officials, and all other matters relating to the organization, and operation of local units. Section 4. The President of the Philippines, shall exercise general supervision, over local governments. Provinces, with respect to component cities and municipalities, and cities and municipalities, with respect to component barangays, shall ensure, that the acts of their component units, are within the scope of their prescribed powers and functions. Section 5. Each local government unit, shall have the power to create its own sources of revenues, and to levy taxes, fees, and charges, subject to such guidelines and limitations, as the Congress may provide, consistent with the basic policy of local autonomy. Such taxes, fees, and charges, shall accrue exclusively to the local governments. Section 6. Local government units, shall have a just, share, as determined by law, in the national taxes, which shall be automatically released to them. Section 7. Local governments, shall be entitled to an equitable share, in the proceeds of the utilization, and development of the national wealth, within their respective areas, in the manner provided by law, including sharing the same with the inhabitants, by way of direct benefits. Section 8. The term of office, of elective local officials, except barangay officials, which shall be determined by law, shall be three years, and no such official, shall serve for more than three consecutive terms. Voluntary renunciation of the office, for any length of time, shall not be considered as an interruption, in the continuity of his service, for the full term for which he was elected. Section 9. Legislative bodies of local governments, shall have sectoral representation, as may be prescribed by law. Section 10. No province, city, municipality, or barangay, may be created, divided, merged, abolished, or its boundary substantially altered, except in accordance with the criteria, established in the local government code, and subject to approval, by a majority of the votes cast in a plebiscite, in the political units directly affected. Section 11. The Congress, may, by law, create special metropolitan political subdivisions, subject to a plebiscite, as set forth in Section 10 hereof. The component cities and municipalities, shall retain their basic autonomy, and shall be entitled to their own local executives and legislative assemblies. The jurisdiction of the Metropolitan Authority, that will hereby be created, shall be limited to basic services requiring coordination. Section 12. Cities that are highly urbanized, as determined by law, and component cities whose charters prohibit their voters, from voting for provincial elective officials, shall be independent of the province. The voters of component cities within a province, whose charters contain no such prohibition, shall not be deprived of their right to vote, for elective provincial officials. Section 13. Local government units, may group themselves, consolidate, or coordinate their efforts, services, and resources, for purposes commonly beneficial to them, in accordance with law. Section 14. The President, shall provide for regional development councils, and other similar bodies, composed of local government officials, regional heads of departments, and other government offices, and representatives from non-governmental organizations within the regions, for purposes of administrative decentralization, to strengthen the autonomy of the units therein, and to accelerate the economic and social growth, and development of the units in the region. Autonomous Region Section 15 there shall be created autonomous regions in Muslim Mindanao, and in the Cordilleras consisting of provinces, cities, municipalities, and geographical areas, sharing common, and distinctive,
historical and cultural heritage, economic and social structures, and other relevant characteristics, within the framework of this constitution, and the national sovereignty, as well as territorial integrity of the Republic of the Philippines. Section 16. The President shall exercise general supervision, over autonomous regions, to ensure that the laws are faithfully executed. Section 17. All powers, functions, and responsibilities, not granted by this Constitution, or by law, to the autonomous regions, shall be vested in the national government. Section 18. The Congress shall enact an organic act, for each autonomous region, with the assistance and participation, of the Regional Consultative Commission, composed of representatives, appointed by the President, from a list of nominees from multi-sectoral bodies. The Organic Act, shall define the basic structure of government from the region, consisting of the Executive Department, and Legislative Assembly, both of which shall be elective, and representative, of the constituent political units. The Organic Act shall likewise provide, for special courts, with personal, family, and property law jurisdiction, consistent with the provisions of this Constitution and national laws. The creation of the autonomous region shall be effective, when approved by majority of the votes cast, by the constituent units in a plebiscite called for the purpose, provided that only provinces, cities, and geographic areas, voting favorably in such plebiscite, shall be included in the autonomous region. Section 19. The first Congress elected under this Constitution, shall, within 18 months, from the time of organization of both houses, pass the organic acts, for the autonomous regions in Muslim Mindanao, and the Cordilleras. Section 20. Within its territorial jurisdiction, and subject to the provisions of this Constitution and national laws, the Organic Act of Autonomous Regions, shall provide for legislative powers over. 1. Administrative organization. 2. Creation of sources of revenues. 3. Ancestral domain and natural resources. 4. Personal, family, and property relations. 5. Regional urban and rural planning development. 6. Economic, social, and tourism development. 7. Educational policies. 8. Preservation and development of the cultural heritage. And. 9. Such other matters as may be authorized by law, for the promotion of the general welfare, of the people of the region. Section 21. The preservation of peace and order within the regions, shall be the responsibility of the local police agencies, which shall be organized, maintained, supervised, and utilized, in accordance with applicable laws. The defense and security of the regions, shall be the responsibility of the national government.